So we've arrived today at JCB, the World Parts Centre. And what happened some years ago was one of the sons of Mr Bamford decided to landscape the whole area and put in three or four lakes. But at the same time, what he did was he introduced some overseas species of ducks to the ponds to make that ornamental uh, feel to it. And so we're gonna be down here for a while. I uh, decided to sort of hunker down, get the chairs out, get the tripod out, get the 600 out and sit down and just have a nice chilling time and just getting some different type of ducks. So there's no reason why you can't be comfortable. Yes, when you're taking shots on a lake, the advice is always go as low as you possibly can. But I've got a long lens and I'll be able to take shots of the, the wildfowl over the other side of the lake as well as near. And because I'm low down as I am comfortable, it's because you've got to know your own limitations. You know, for me to lay down here all afternoon, it's not going to happen. But if you if you was taking a picture for a competition, then you're going to get down and you're going to you're going to sort of hold out a little bit and go down there. But at the moment, I'm just going to enjoy myself. These lakes are full of species that I don't know what they are, but you can always find out. You take a picture, you go back to the internet and you can research it and find out what they are. What I've done is I've positioned myself between two trees, so I've got this window in front of me. I can comfortably sit here and the ducks, the wildfowl, are going to be coming by. Who knows what's going to be coming by? So we're going to sit it out. Always wait until the duck is side on. So it's a little overcast today. I've decided to go for ISO 640 at F8. And that's giving me between a thousandth and twelve hundred fiftieth of a second. So the exposure compensation I've gone for plus two thirds of a stop. And that's because of the reflection on the water and the camera reading the whole scene, making it too dark, so that'll bring it up nicely. So I'm actually looking over the top, and as you can see, I've got this tree on the left and on the on the right. So I'm covered in from where the wildfowl are coming up and down. The, uh, the lake and then as soon as I see them I can take the shot nice and comfortable and because it's going to be at a distance then you know it's going to be as though you've really gone low down anyway but on a day like today you want to just nice chill you want to enjoy it you don't want to be laying on your stomach all day so you know don't worry too much about that know your limitations
Well, it's raining now, but as we all know, ducks love a bit of rain. We're both actually uh, quite snug here, so yeah, I'm quite happy sitting here, taking the pictures and just enjoying the chill. It is Father's Day, we was out a little bit later today, because uh, we was doing the family thing, really enjoyed that, but it's now just nice to chill. So I've been sat here a couple of hours now and this has been a real little highway of ducks going up and down. And what's interesting, over the other side there's a bit of a cove and the amount of ducks that's headed for that cove and they've been washing themselves there. It's still deep water, you can see them diving, but they've all sort of gone over there to wash themselves. And then you get some birds about every 15 minutes will go one way they come back 15 minutes later. So they've all got habits, and it's often all the different birds have passed here a few times now. So um, it's interesting watching their habits, their cleaning habits. Yeah, it's, it's been fantastic. I've got lots of shots, loads of shots. And of course, while you're sat here, you can really practice. You can practice with the, uh, the exposure compensation, you go up and down with that. You can practice with your uh, AF points, the autofocus points. So it's well worth setting your stall out to do this and to give yourself a little bit of practice. And I'm sure along the way you're going to get some fabulous images.